tonight, we take a look at the little-known story about how Black History Month started and why we celebrate it in February. Here's CBS's Adriana Diaz. Good morning, darling. On Urban Historian, Sherman Thomas's Black History Month bus tour. And if you look out of what is now the East Windows, that is the building where the birth of Black History Month happened. All roads lead to this former YMCA, one of the first to welcome Black Americans. Here in 1915, Carter G. Woodson, who was born to former slaves and went to the University of Chicago and Harvard, created the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. And that association decided to come up with Negro Achievement Week, uh, which is the precursor to Black History Month. Thomas says they chose February because it contained the birthday of Abraham Lincoln and the made-up birthday of Frederick Douglass. And created Black History materials for teachers who sometimes taught it in secret. I think there are a lot of parallels comparing what's happening now with the banning of Black History books and what Dr. Carter G. Woodson was attempting to do, trying to not use the lessons of the past to shame anyone, but to make sure that we don't repeat those same mistakes. Evelyn Brooks Higginbotham is a Harvard history professor whose father worked with Woodson. Well, for him, the idea of a week was never a week. It was always 365 days. He was a builder. He brought people together. I think he's very proud of the history that we've made, and I think he would agree that we still have a little ways to go. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Chicago. And that is tonight's CBS.